Formulas in Salesforce let you define calculations for custom fields, validation rules, and workflow logic based on values specific to your organization. In this video, you'll learn how to create formulas using the formula editor and see an example of formula syntax. Formulas in Salesforce are similar to formulas in Excel. Just as you can find the sum or product of cells in Excel, Salesforce formulas offer functions and operators that allow you to automatically calculate new values from different fields. These calculations are not stored in Salesforce, but are updated based on the values of the fields. What if you wanted to create a custom field that applies a discount to an opportunity amount? Let's try it. You can create a new formula field by going to Setup, searching for the object you want your formula to correspond to, in this case, Opportunities, and clicking Fields. This page lists all the standard and custom fields for the Opportunities object. We'll click New, and then Formula. Click Next. This is where you set up your formula field and give it a name. Let's call our field Discounted Amount. The options listed here are formula data types. The data type you select should match the kind of data you are working with. Since we want our formula to apply a discount to a dollar amount, let's pick Currency. Click Next. We've reached the Formula Editor. Make sure the Advanced Formula tab is selected. The text area is where we will enter our formula. The Insert Field button allows you to use other fields in your formula. For this example, we want to work with the Amount field. Select it and click Insert to continue. The Insert Operator button lets you place basic mathematical and logical operators such as addition and multiplication. Let's apply a 15% discount by multiplying the Amount field by 0.15. Since we want to find the new discounted amount, we should subtract this product from the original amount. To the right of the text area, there's a list of functions you can use in your formula by selecting an item from the list and clicking Insert Selected Function, or by double-clicking the function itself. Since we're working on a simple example, we won't be using a function in this formula. If you want to check that your formula syntax is correct before saving, you can do so using the Check Syntax button. Click Next to select Security Options, again to add your field to the page layout, and finally save your formula. You can view and edit your formula in the Custom Fields area of the Objects Fields page. We've only covered the basics of creating formulas in this video. Be sure to visit our online help resources to see how formulas can enrich your Salesforce experience. Thanks for using Salesforce.